Hey y'all, I want y'all to see this cautionary tale of being Florida streets and then eventually realizing the error in your ways. This is something I would say, ladies, really, I mean, you can tell your homegirls and other women, but I would say instill what she's saying, the lessons and the message that she's giving, instill this into your daughters when they're very young at a very young age but let's get into it my first love like my first man that i ever encountered with did everything with was supposed to be my husband basically saying every everything she did with her boyfriend you know clapping cakes going to the movies whatever the case said they should have been husband and wife but i was the one that messed it up now god revealed this to me right after i got saved and he revealed this to me in a dream and i haven't talked to my first love in like it has probably probably been over seven years uh going on eight years since i last talked to him um now when i was with him I notice there's no ring on her finger but you do notice that there's a baby in the background. That baby ain't seven years old, so let's continue. I was with him for about seven years, and I was he was like my childhood boyfriend. Um, and I broke I got I got with him when I was thirteen. Yes, I was young. And then I we broke up at eighteen. And then we reconnected when I was twenty one and we stopped talking it when I was twenty two. Hold on. 13, 18, that's five. Then 21, that's one, two, that's six. Eh, that's like, yeah, I guess six, seven years. But you know, they're going to gonna try to over-exaggerate some, some things. But she's still in love with this dude. So y'all broke when she's 22. So she's probably about what? 29, 30. That baby in the background, probably no more than maybe two or three, maybe. And when I was 22, he was trying to marry me. Wow. And I didn't want to get married. I got scared. And just a little background with me and him. He um, got saved within the middle of our, of our relationship. He found God in the middle of our relationship. And he used to tell me about about what the information and the new knowledge that he was getting. And at the time, I didn't want to hear it. Number one, she, so him or her, I'm going to assume about the same age, 13, 14 years old when they got together. So as they got older, it seems that he matured faster than she did, you know, start one, knew he had to settle down. This man was ready to be married to the point that if he was out in the streets doing whatever he was doing, he was like, look, we've been together since he was 13, we broke up for whatever reason, got back together. He said, I know you're gonna be, you are the love of my life. I'm ready to settle down, change my ways, go to church, go to mosque, whatever the case may be. I'm ready to settle down and make you my wife at 20 something years old. Had you and ready to keep you during your prime years and wanted to make a family with you during your prime years, but yet you said you were scared. What, scared of what? Scared of leaving the streets? Scared of, you know, selling down because you might think it's something better out there when there's nothing better out there. Let me tell you something. Something that <clears throat> I said before, that something that we taught our kids, we did, we, we did wrong by our daughters for real, because I ain't gonna say we, but us as a people, We've told our daughters to, you know, don't settle down with no man at early age. You got to get out there. You got to see the world because you got to find, you know, find, you know, because you don't know who that man ain't for you. You know, he's for you. It might be somebody out there better who's really wants you. But this guy is going got in the word, became religious or spiritual, ready to settle down and become your man, do everything for you. And you said no because you got scared.
what my focus was was worldly. I wanted to party. I wanted to be with my friends. Be in the streets. And then at that time, like it was like a tug of war with me and him. Like he was fighting for me, but I was like trying to go with Stray kind of. This man wanted and to be with you. When we reconnected when I was 21, 22, we were going to church together and then we were supposed to come up with like a court courting ship with the elder and I ended up bailing and then right after that I I had a baby. Right after that, that don't sound right. That don't sound right. Cause you say you hadn't talked to him in seven years. You said right after that you had a baby. I doubt it's right after that. You might have. Like I said, that baby in that background ain't no more than maybe I give a three, two or three years old at the most. So it wasn't right after that, or you just can't do math. And at that time, like I just thought that he was just boring and he didn't want to do nothing. The good he guy. only wanted to go to church. Mm-hmm. Trying he to get his didn't right. want to go out or travel or do anything that I wanted to do with my trying to get his stuff right. You got, all your, you got your whole life to do that, man. Look at here, my mom probably has traveled more in the last few years than I have. Them. I, and then, then I've known her, and my sister, dad. You know, they got older, they still. Travel. But you think you're gonna miss out on something? The world ain't going nowhere. But that man did though. Their mind at my young tender age, and really, I regret it because. I'm 28 now, and like yeah. the problems that we were having weren't problems that I had with other men. Like he was the first man that would ever like pray for me, that ever like talk about God. Like he was the first and only man that like wanted God to be in the center of our, of our relationship, and like that was really a blessing. But I took it for granny and i thought that it was something better out here me being too selfish and too worldly um and of course i had a baby with another man or whatever mm -hmm. um not with him but i just regret it and like the reason why i'm bringing this up is, you're is not even with I that was dude. Watching and you're making this video because you're not even with that dude right now watching a video about t and tamira well the, the the famous twins Tamara she divorced her husband and it just seemed like she's spiraling and she regret her decision and that's like reminds me of me like I regret my decision. Hey, you actually regret it because you had a whole family you had you had stability and that's what women don't understand you want stability but you only want it when you want it you don't want it when all the time you're supposed to have it twenty four seven. You can't turn it off and on when you want to. You can't wake up one day and say, oh, I want a good want a man to take care of me, be there for me, this and the third. And then this thing, you know, I want to go kick it with my single friends because he don't want to go kick it with them. No, he's trying to get his life right and he wants to grow with you. I've always said the best ways for women to be in relationships, the best no, the best ways for them to do is one, start out with a guy young and y'all grow together because you appreciate it more. If you don't do that, then you're going to wait and find you an older man that's like, it's old because these young boys, you ain't gonna want nobody younger than you who ain't doing nothing. So you're gonna need somebody who's older, right? Ah, <sighs> mercy. See, I got one, I'll tell you like this, one of my daughters right now. Well, not right now, but one of my daughters, you know, she relationship with a dude and they young. So they get into it, they break up, go back together, get into it. But I told her that don't be the reason that y'all break up. If y'all break up because a man is abusive verbally or physically, then yeah get up out of it but if y'all having arguments or disagreements about stuff y'all gotta learn how to communicate with each other and get through those and learn how to discuss things as a couple because like, like i told her the dude sound like a good dude he seemed like a good guy i don't know him that well but from what i've seen and heard from him he seemed like a down-to-earth dude and y'all are both young and y'all still growing you know what i'm saying don't be the reason don't don't be the don't be the toxic part of the relationship as to why y'all broke up make sure it's a real good make sure it's a real reason not just because y'all just young and stupid and i know that i'm making this video also is because i know that it's women out there that be like oh i want a man that's going to do this that, and the third that's going to cut my pay for this and pay for that don't you want a man that's going to pray for you like you should want a man that want, wants to pray for you that know god that want god to be in the center that want to marry you without a doubt and um, to start. like a lot of us got it messed up and it's really the enemy 
Yeah. No, they want to do this, going to cuss them out, call them the B word, have about four or five other baby mamas and stuff, and they just be on the back burner. That's what that's, that's what they want. That made me go astray from him because he knew that that was my, like, that was sent by God. Like, he, he was supposed to be my husband. Yeah. And I didn't have to Sounds go like from men to men to men, from man to man to find yeah. him. It was just like right there. Like, God sent him first. And he had to, the enemy got in my mind, and mm -hmm. of course, outside people was like, yep. "Oh, you're not gonna um, end up being with him. With you need to explore. You daddy. need to find out probably if that's really himself. what you want." And I'm here to tell you, if you have a God fair man, mm -hmm. a man that's gonna pray for you when things yep. is hard, you got a good man. Regardless man. of the situation, if you want a man with a bigger bag, help him get a bigger bag. There you go. Like, be a help me help him get a big bag. That's what I'm talking about. And she's young, so hopefully other ladies it, will pay it's attention. There's really to this. nobody out here for real. That's no, like ain't none of them streets. So I'm just saying, but like, I'm just coming on here to say if you if don't don't leave your man for 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 ten percent of what he don't got. The eighty twenty. It's not worth it. Showing you don't wanna game. be like me, like feeling like you missed the opportunity and I don't know if he might come across this video, but I'm sorry. <laughs> that cat's probably mad. I now. didn't know no better. I was worldly. I was of this yeah. world. I well, he probably know, probably married, and now it's probably be hard to get this brother because you have a young one. You have a child, a young child at that. And like I said, where's the baby dad at? You didn't really say where he's at. That's the that's the, that's the, that's the question that need to be asked. And I think that's probably why she's making this video because she see that, like she said, she done had different dudes and got the cheeks clapped by a bunch of different dudes, messed around and got pregnant by one. And that dude's not even there. And she's like, God, I had a great thing first time around and I blew it. And she's being honest. And there's nothing wrong with being honest, accountability. But I think she's probably feeling like she's at the bottom. Now, if she was making like a bunch of money doing it on her own and holla, I don't need no man. You know what I'm saying? She she would probably wouldn't make it in this video, but she's Making a video like most average women would probably make this video if they in her situation. But again, she's been honest and I can't knock her for that. I loved this world too much at one point in my life. And I've changed. Like I realized he who loves the world don't love God, period. So like don't leave your husband for your for 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 a situation shit or a boyfriend. It's not worth it. Did she say leave your husband for a boyfriend? What? So did she say she left her man for somebody? Man, it's a lot going on in this video. But anyway, man, hey, like I said, this was a great lesson. I, I like this video. She was honest. She put it out there. She was brutal with herself. She was held herself accountable. And she's telling y'all what not to do. You find a good man, stick to him. And fellas, if you find a good woman who's doing the same thing that she's doing, that she said he did, I mean, you know what I'm saying? You need to keep that woman and be right by her. Because, man, like I say, ain't nothing out here in these streets. Nothing at all. But, again, ladies, teach the young babies this stuff as they grow older. So when they get to her age, they know, ah, I know what I need to do. Because I've seen too many examples of how the way all these single women, aunts and moms and cousins are. And it's not working and they are miserable and they are miserable and i can tell no matter what they say but anyway tell me what you think about this video y'all leave your comments below share it with the world let's have an intelligent conversation hey don't forget to like share comment and subscribe those four things cost you nothing but a couple of minutes out your day but it means the world to us don't forget to go to marlinrally.com that's marlinrally.com to get 10 percent off your first purchase or hit our store up in the description box below and with that being said, I leave you in peace and I'll see you on the other side.